Hi everyone, hope you're having a beautiful week. I want to speak to you today again about the New Age movement, or as I like to refer to it as the New Cage. And uh, I've been really disturbed over the last few weeks, uh, at least not by finding out about so many New Age cults that are going on. And I made a video last week about Muji, about the cult there. And it's been really shocking seeing some of the replies on the thread. Um, just how people are just completely mesmerized, there's no discernment, um, people just going along with it, even if, uh, not even investigating the allegations, which, is very ser which are very serious, uh, allegations about women being used, um, things like that. Uh, there's, there's no discernment uh, at all and uh, it's been shocking because it ties in with um, people that I'm working with as well just gravitating to these new age scenes and getting their fingers burnt through different modalities and um, I just really want to explain to people why the new age is so dangerous and actually at the same time explain how clever it is because these forces, these uh, dark forces behind um, what, we, what we call visible sight in the fourth dimension that are, that are pulling the strings in this reality, um, they know that a spiritual awareness is, is coming down onto this planet right now. They know that this is starting to spread. I don't like using the word awakening because, again, the language awake, what is awake? Well, awake is something you have when someone dies. This is another thing that people don't understand is we have etymology, spell, spellings, ca spells cast spells, spellings cast spells even. Um, so we're talking and we're casting spells all the time. Um, so that's something else to be aware of. But anyway, getting back on point. So uh, they know that there's this awareness filtering through the consciousness of the planet right now. And what they've so masterfully done is they've created this new religion, this new age scene, this Sado spirituality, where people are starting to realize that they're more than just humans and they are going through the process of realization. Um, and, and then what they've cleverly done is that they've put this movement there as a cul-de-sac um, to, to get people veering off the wrong path right at the last minute and they do call it the last honeypot before the gold mine which ironically is, is is a very good name for it and so it's so important that we really look at things for what they are and what's happening with the new age the other clever thing that they've done is um, they have designed it so it taps into people's trauma um, let's face it guys this planet in general is in a lot of trauma right now um, and we are we all have our stories individually uh, some some people's stories are more severe than others we all have different le levels of trauma that go on in our life um, and what the new age scene does is it packages itself very fluffy you know you can just turn up take a yoga class you don't have to focus on anything negative um, but they teach you that you're actually healing yourself through that. Now, I'm not saying that any of these modalities can't help in any way. You know, there's a lot of um, there's a lot that can be said for you know deep breathing and focusing on your breath and you know being mindful and you know things like that. But the whole new age scene in many of the teachings, it's spiritual bypassing, where you sit in lotus. You, if the mind comes in, you're supposed to just ignore it. This is the teachings of Muji. Um, this is how he gets away with it because when anyone questions what he's doing is wrong, um, he'll sell them that it's the mind, it's the ego, it's etc. etc. So it shuts down any kind of debate straight off the bat. Um, and so in these teachings, where we're told to basically um, ignore the negative, you know, we can just think of positive things and all these self affirmations are going to like heal years of trauma um it it's just bullshit it's absolute bullshit this this new age scene is preventing people from healing on any depth and that is the dangerous part of it people are going to it they're gravitating to it to heal and they're coming off nine times out of ten worse off or they're never actually healing at all um, and there's a reason for this, and this is how it's. This is why it's been packaged so nicely. As I say, because people have had so much trauma, and let's face it, this planet is a pretty tough place to exist in. 
you know we have a lot of stuff going on around us constant wars financial difficulties you know all this stuff people having their, their own family stuff so of course people are gonna if they can find a way to escape or to believe in something else they're gonna run to it they're gonna be on it like flies around shit for want of a better phrase and I know this because through people that I've worked on in my own sessions and people that I'm, I'm also close to that when someone has experienced so, so much trauma in their life if you start talking about angels and you know they're gonna come down and save you and alien beings are gonna come and save you uh, or you know just just be love and everything else just is just it, it's your mind of course that's gonna sound attractive I completely get it I completely get it but it's not true in my opinion anyway it's not true spirituality true spirituality for me is facing the dark night of, us, of the soul not only in our own lives but as a collective uh, and this is the other thing when you get um, when you get into a conversation with a new ager they tell you that you're being negative or you're drawing more of the same in this is complete bullshit okay because what you resist persists it's like if you damage your leg in an accident and you don't get it looked at the chances are it might get infected it might get gangrene and you could end up losing your leg and the same applies to all aspects of life if there is a problem it's not going to go away by thinking about angels thinking about love all of that bollocks it's not you know it takes guts it takes courage it takes may months maybe even years to go through to that subconscious wounding that is causing that trauma or not causing that trauma but is still affecting you to this day and that uh, and I realize that is not what people want to hear. People want to think that there's a magic wand, and I have it with my own work. My work, you know, it's very good. It clears a lot of the, the energetic interference, but it's not the holy grail. And I tell people that, you know, my work is only for people that are serious about becoming the best version of themselves, and that means facing the dark night of the soul. So that's the other, that's the other way they get them. Uh, they get them by making it look just so beautiful and attractive and people that know my work will know I talk about the chakras how they've tied people into that um, mental schism because they make it look so beautiful with the rainbow colors when in actual fact they're probably the most evil things out there when you actually research it and you can check out other, my other videos on that so that's the that's the one of the things I wanted to say. The other thing is about this new age thing is there's a lot of ego, spiritual ego. I found it in the thread this the Muji video I did. Lots of comments, you know, Tony. Once you've reached enlightenment, you might understand. Or Tony, you need to go deeper, and you know, like like they know something that I don't because I've not sat there in lotus position. Actually, I have sat there in lotus position, and I'm not saying I've got all the answers. Far from it. I've still got a lot lot to learn myself. But the way you get spoken to by some of these people in these in these these scenes is like they think they know something, and unfortunately nine times out of ten they're just stuck in another cul-de-sac because if we take the Muji example they're kissing his feet and they're buying pots of dust that he tr he trod on for $25 that to me is not enlightenment guys not enlightenment so there's this whole spiritual ego where, where conversation gets shut down straight away oh you're so negative or this passive aggressiveness that comes with it it's a real horrible energy and i was speaking to my partner this week that you know i prefer the people that get drunk down the pubs and don't care about the world because at least they're not trying to pretend they're something they're not which is what you get with those scenes the other thing that I'm finding as well, which I really feel like we need to discern, again, I work on a lot of people on their energy. You know, they're going to see, see so-called healers that are still drinking alcohol, st still smoking pot. And what I'm finding is they're getting drawn in by all these buds, all these buzzwords. There's so many buzzwords now. Ascension, archangels, which are actually um, malevolent because archangels, if you look at the word archons, which is part of the distorted consciousness that control this reality it's telling you archangels are more false white light sorry you know sorry to be the messenger 
ironic right they're messengers too but you see what I mean all these buzzwords ascension Merkaba you know it just goes on and on and people are reeling these new age bollocks off their and people are lapping it up they're lapping it up because it just sounds good it sounds cosmic and uh, it's not helping people are coming to me and they're, they're they're getting attachments and all stuff because they've opened themselves up because to someone who's given them a, a load of cosmic lingo um, or, or the other thing you need right now is is a is some you know wafty Indian name you know Swami Baba Baba Gaja and you know you've got one of those names people will give you their money hand over fist because it all sounds so spiritual man you know this is crazy guys we need to have an not an awakening we need to we need to a shake within the shaking um, and stop sucking up these words you know a lot of what's put out there in in these scenes sounds fantastic this is the other thing we're going with what feels good the truth doesn't always feel good news flash the truth doesn't always feel good this is why some of my work's not popular because you know I talk about entities and AI and you know things that are controlling us in the unseen it doesn't sound good I understand that but it doesn't make it that it doesn't mean that it's not true but this these new age um, programs that are out there it ties into our emotions it makes you feel all gooey inside it makes you all oh, unicorns oh I'm gonna go meet my archangel so when people one when, when someone comes back and says that it's not true or you should think they don't want to know because that doesn't sound good you can't you're not going to grow if you just think with your emotions you've got to think with your mind your heart and your belly brain the three combined not just how it feels so I just wanted to put that rant out there I talk more about this in my book new age is new cage um, I'll link this in the description guys if you've got comments about this what do you think about the new age do you think it's full of spiritual ego what do you think about all these words being thrown out let me know in the comments below I'll always reply um, as quickly as I can and uh, guys don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one take care